hi guys welcome to my channel this is going to be my first video and i'm just doing a little bit of filing and e-filing in this video just to show my little process these are double tip nails so i will consider them extra long some may say extra extra long and i'll just be doing a voiceover throughout the video kind of explaining what's going on so here you see me filing the side of the nail and I try to get it really precise with the actual nail bed. I don't know if you've ever seen like when you have your nails done and sometimes there's a little flap of product over the side of the finger. I basically file on that side as precise as I can just to keep that from flooding over. Usually I don't have that problem anymore but occasionally it still happens so you want to make sure that you still hit that side. And I kind of just alternate back and forth with my file. I would say I do straight up and down. I do a little bit of an angle here and there. It really depends what the goal is at that time. Like you see me hit the um the tip of the nail, like all the way down at the I don't know, some people call that the top and bottom, so I don't really want to say that. The end towards me. So you will see me file that straight up and down. And then I'll keep alternating from the sides and back and forth. Like on the finger that I just did that's straight up and down and I kind of zoom through this so anywhere that my hand has to be in the camera for too long I kind of try to just zoom through that part because no one wants to sit and look at my hand and they can't see the nail or what I'm doing so I kind of just zoom through those areas you don't want to have any build up beneath the nail where the edge meets so where that actual skin begins from where that product comes out you don't want anything beneath that so if you have anything there you want to get under there and file that off so that's what you see me doing here and then I'll go back to the sides and make sure that that entire base beneath is even these tips are curved because as I said before they are double tipped so I basically stuck one tip on and I glued another one to that so they have a little bit of a curve to them and you just want to make sure that that curve is really nice you don't want any bumpy curve beneath the nail from here, I say that I've done enough talking, so I'm going to just take me a little break and let you just watch what I'm doing, and then I'll pick back up when I start doing the e-filing or if I add any other techniques in here, but for right now, I'll let you just watch. Also, I should have mentioned it earlier, but I apologize for the shaking of my camera. I have a little attachment that I put on my table and when I file it makes it move but hopefully I'll get a new one soon so sorry about that. <laughs> For those of you who may be wondering, I use a pretty coarse grit file for this. I usually use 100 grit files or sometimes 80. It depends on how good of a shape I want to do. But I like to stay on the coarser side because I like to have a very obvious square shape. Everything that I do, I like it to be sharp. I like it to be crispy and I like it to be very precise. But I will say if you're just beginning, I would not start with these really coarse grit files because you may cut somebody. You really you want to be careful. You want to work your way up. So start softer, start finer, and then when you get comfortable, then start moving to coarser grit files. Don't just start with the 80 or start with the 100 because you really don't want to cut anybody because these files really are sharp. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so at this point, I'm bringing in my e-file and I'm just smoothing out any last imperfections. I'm also using this to seal the cuticle area. So you'll see me go around the cuticle and make sure that that is sealed because you don't want any lifting. You don't want anything being able to get under there. And what you see me doing here is I'm smoothing out the sides so that there isn't a ledge type of look. You don't want it to be a boulder that you fall off the side of the nail. You want it to be smooth and you want it to all go together. So here, you see me going around the cuticle, and I'll do that all the way around, both sides. You don't want to skip the right side from where I'm looking at is the right side. So a lot of times we miss that side, and you try to turn your client's finger a little bit, but you also have to be able to get around there without making your client do too much work. So you see me doing that here. And I'm just going to keep going around until I feel like it's really nice. Because you don't want the cuticle area to be really thick with acrylic. These nails do have to be on the thicker side. For me, that's what I prefer because they are extra long. I don't really like to do extra long thin nails because they will break. But some do favor thin nails. So I guess it's just a preference. But that's just not how I would do mine. I will have an application video coming up to show the actual foundation for doing nails because I did just speak on thickness with length but you also want to know where to put that thickness at. So for a longer nail, for me it is thicker all around when I do them but my main focus for the strongest and thickest point is still the apex either way. So even though the overall nail is thick, I still keep that same process of that zone 1, zone 2, and zone 3. So I don't feel like these are too thick the client doesn't feel that they're too thick we're both on the same page so that's just how i prefer to do it we're in agreement there and i kind of just think it's up to you if you feel like the nails are last and you want to do them thin and your client wants them thin that's fine but also keep in mind that at the end of the day it's your work you're doing it if you feel like it's going to break let them know it's up to their discretion at that point but don't just blindly say, oh, well, this is what they want. Always use what you know and let them know. Give them an educated suggestion to the best that you can. And now I'm going in with my buffer to smooth the nail out and get any roughness off of it. I personally use the smaller ones, but you can use the large ones. I just don't have a problem with the small ones. Large would probably be more efficient for most people, especially since I'm doing a longer nail. But I've just used these for so long that I kind of just have stuck to them. I may switch soon. I don't know.
So we're coming down to the end of my video. I'm done with my filing, e-filing, and buffing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And down in the comments, leave any videos that you would like for me to do. And at the end of this video, I will also be showing the final results of the nails that I did both hands from my client's perspective. Thanks for watching.